fall and we have these spent blooms on a lavender. They're encroaching out over the walk. We don't want to trim the lavender too much uh, this late in the year. It's September because uh, then we'll stimulate a bunch of new growth and, and, and it might freeze back if we get some early season freezes. But we are going to take off the spent blooms. Here's a good example of, uh, of how we want you to prune these things. They don't have to be perfect. We're not trying to make this for the White House. We're trying to make it look natural. As you can see, the front of this bush in here, this is lavender, and we cut off all the spent blooms. We're trying to round it. I purposely left this portion because it had previously been pruned more into a boxy shape. We want to make sure we don't undercut it. We're trying to get this thing to round off. Now, that's going to cut back in here some foliage and it's going to leave some ugly stems for a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and shake that up so next spring that will all come out and look nice. This is the final trim. We've cleaned it up a little where the back portion doesn't stick out uh, quite as much. We're going to fertilize it in the spring, let it reshape, but it's going to require constant trimming after it blooms so that... Uh, it doesn't encroach on the sidewalk. If you bloom, if you prune this too early in the year before it blooms, guess what? You're not going to have any blooms.